I think what, what, what you have to do is you have to create, I mean, in your big swing, you take your swing, start to swing back with your arms like so. A lot of people think that, that I'm going to miniaturize that for the short game. And it's way different. There's two swings. There's a big swing, which is this, and there's a short game swing, a pitch swing, a yeah. bunker swing, and a chip swing. They're all basically the same, but it's really rotation of arms. And so I want to set the position. If I go this way, I want to set the position to have loft and the capability of using the sole on the ground. So I come down and I can use use that yeah. sole like that, okay? And and not dig. You need to use the sole. But if I take the normal big swing I, with no no rotation, I don't have any loft, and I can hit behind it, or I'll try and yeah. you know reverse weight shift like this to create the loft, and then you bottom out and. And, and that, yeah, and that yeah. tends to be the amateur that will then that, say that the, they've got too much bounce, and right. that's not the case at right. all. I, I, I it is the case if given yes. that technique. Yes. But the thing is, the, the quickest way to lower your score and handicap, quickest way, is to work on your short game. I'm not going to be able to hit if I practice till the cows come home. You know, ten more yards maybe yeah, yeah. if I really get good technique. But around the greens, it doesn't take strength. I can't hit 300 yards, but I can have a short game as good as these guys. Yeah, no, definitely. If you have proper technique. Yeah. So to do that, I want to feel like I'm rotating my arms right in front of my body. See what I'm doing right yes. now? Not to wrist. I want to stay wide. That's wrist. Yeah. If there's a lot of wrist, i got to unhinge that wrist by the time I get to the ball. Okay. And then I'm steep yeah. and I'm narrow. I want to stay wide and rotate. Yeah, I totally agree with that. When, when, I, when I'm coaching, I, I like to, so in the full swing, this right elbow tends to go away a bit more. I like to yeah. feel like it's really soft, not moving at all. Yeah. And it, it definitely creates what you're, what you're saying there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, totally agree with it's that. just like that. Yeah. If you feel that way. So if looking down the line, okay, the club actually moves out and then comes back right on, yeah. the, right on the target. I don't want the club back here. I want it right down the line. And from here, you release it and you release the club and you rotate your lower body to create the power. But that keeps you wide and then allows you to use the sole. Perfect. Perfect. So, yes. But, but think of my water diving in underneath this rope, okay? I'm going to hit behind the ball, okay? And that, that was pretty good, actually. <laughs> but I hit right at the ball. I want to hit behind the ball and skid into it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that analogy. That's a that's a quite a simple one to to picture, but yeah. can actually transform. But you can hit, you head. can practice, and, and you if you release it, I'm releasing the club, okay, back here, and I'm and I can flip it. I can do anything as long as I hit behind the ball. Fantastic. Anyway, thank you for your time. Okay. Really you. appreciate that. And uh, any questions? Get them down below and I'll try and answer them. Unfortunately, um, I don't have MD3. access to you. MD3s, they're in my bag. Callaway Golf. Well, my one that's got the PM in there as well. We might yep. have a chat about that well, one. We have we have four grinds, okay? We have the C, the S, and the W that I talked about. And then we have Phil's wedge, yes. which is also a wide wedge. We, we took out the center of it, okay? Because he likes to get that leading edge under the ball before the bounce comes in. Yeah. But it's a wide bounce, really effective wedge. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Let's catch you soon.